happy hamburger day YouTube uh, sorry for my disheveled appearance um, as you can tell I have no shame and I don't really care about anything so um, but uh, last night was a fantastic night in Leafland um, for those of you familiar with Leaf Nation and uh, the juggernaut that is the Leaf Toronto Maple Leaf machine um, you'll know that as soon as there's some adversity um, especially now that they're good again uh, they lose a couple games in a row or whatever people oh, panic button um, like without fail um, you know every team in the league goes through their slumps each year um, every team loses games sometimes in a row you know um, even the best teams um, lose games it's there's only one team that wins the cup each year and every team has a deficiency somewhere just like the Leafs is on defense um, other teams have can't find a good goaltender. Philadelphia hasn't found a good goaltender since Hextall in the 80s. Um, you know, so there's just so much panic and scrutiny and nonsense around the Leafs because it's such a huge market. Um, so you just have to kind of ignore it, ignore it all. But that was that was all the last few days were after the Colorado game, which I admit it was a terrible, terrible showing by the Leafs. Um, but all you heard was they need to trade this guy for that guy and they need a new defenseman and they need to get rid of Gardner and this and that and the other thing. And it's like, just give them a chance to regroup and start another streak. Like, it's just crazy. <clears throat> but anyways, after all of that, there couldn't have been a better test um, for them to go through last night other than going into Tampa Bay, um, the team with the best record in the league, sitting in first place. And uh, the Leafs actually always play them pretty well, which is a sign that they themselves are a really good team. And uh, last night was no mistake. Um, first couple of shifts, shifts were a bit rough, as as they can be in another team's building, especially a good team. Um, you kind of have to just get through the, the, let them spend their initial energy and, and prevent any damage, and then just uh, get into it after um, you've kind of weathered that storm there. And uh, that's what it kind of was. The first number of shifts, maybe Tampa had the edge, but uh, the Leafs managed to, um, you know, swing the momentum back and even things up. And, uh, and it settled into a really fantastic game. Um, Babs, after everything that had gone on, he, he went back to some old line combinations that worked from last year. Uh, on the first line, he finally put Matthews and, um, and Nylander back together with Hyman, taking him off the second line. And then, so on the second line, it was Tavares and uh, Marner, as they had been all year, but instead they had Janssen on the wing. Um, and then, so that meant the third line was Kadri, Kapanen, and Marlowe and then the fourth line stayed intact so um, and it worked and there was a lot of guys that hadn't scored in a long time and a couple of them finally popped a goal and ended those those droughts um, just it was just before the, the halfway point of the first period Tambo was gifted a stupid power play a little tap on the knee pad ridiculous um, and they scored on the power play um, you know nothing nothing you can do against the best power play in the in the league just try not to give them too many chances um, but uh, two minutes later, um, Kadri, who I think was noticeably the best leaf last night, he he was the Kadri that you notice um, when Kadri's playing his best hockey. He's hitting people, he's energized, he's fast, and he's just irritating. Um, he gets under team skins, he draws penalties, and then he, and then he gets more points that way because he's he's getting to those areas where you get crushed, but you you get results at the same time. Um, so he hopped on a nice little rebound, um, or a, a, a little pass in the crease um, from Kapanen, I think it was, um, and tucked a backhander behind Vasilevsky to make it uh, to tie, out, tie it up 1-1. And then, uh, and then in the second period, um, I think it was just after the halfway point, another guy who hadn't scored in a long time, Marlo, um, tucked a rebound below Vasilevsky and made it 2-1. Um, half a minute later, Tampa evened it up. <laughs> so. Um, I think it was late second or either early third, I don't remember, but the Leafs finally got the, the game winning goal, the, the goal that would end up being the game winning goal. Um, and, and after that, it was like, it was just kind of the last maybe a half a period of the third. It was just Tampa was started to, to throw everything they had at the Leafs to try and even things up. And uh, Anderson, in his second game back after the injury and the flu and everything, he was fantastic. He made a ton of good saves. <coughs> Tampa pulled their goalie at the end, but the Leafs kind of buckled down, and and uh, Hyman popped an empty netter with just under a minute left, and uh, 
there was a 4-2 win in uh, against the best team in hockey in, in their building too. So um, can we all can we all stop the panic now? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, so that's uh, that's it's quite a way to get back in the win column, and, uh, and and it's a good response by the Leafs too after probably reading in the papers. Um, and here, or not reading in the papers, you don't read papers anymore, but uh, seeing on social media, um, the root of all evil, um, that, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're lacking in so many ways um, for them to be sitting and hearing that for the last couple of days, um, and, and the pressure building on that, for them to go out and throw a game like that um, against Tampa and get the two points, it's, it's huge. And it was huge in the standings, too, because uh, Boston won last night, so temporarily they were point ahead of the Leafs for second place in the Atlantic but once the Leafs game finished they were back in front by a point so um, so yeah it's it's getting it's there's still almost half like it's the season just past the halfway point not that long ago but it's already getting into that you need to win every game to maintain your playoff position it's, it's a dog fight now um, and uh, you know this uh, this will either kind of make or break the Leafs and determine their position whether they get home ice or not um, and kind of it's already a good test before the playoffs even begin. Um, so yeah, so glad to see them rise to the occasion. And uh, they're right back at it tonight because it's a back and back um, in Florida tonight against the Panthers. So uh, who are pesky? They're you know they're they're they rarely make the playoffs, but they've always got a lot of talent and they're always in the fight. So um, you know after winning against Tampa, they can't they can't think oh we're going to beat Florida now. So they they need to throw out the same kind of effort last night like they do every night from now on um, in order to beat the the Panthers tonight so uh, we will see what happens and uh, that means I will be back tomorrow morning and uh, until then I bid you happy hamburger day